taking over Mowgli's channel because I am going to talk about five annoying things skaters do or annoying habits that they have and I know that they're annoying because I've seen it happen I have family I have friends that are skaters I had a um, guy that used to skateboard in a past relationship so I know the deal I know what's up I know this um, they will notice it maybe because they just you know they skateboarding is their life they don't care. Like anything negative that they care about skateboarding, like literally goes in the air, not the other. So maybe if they watch this, they'll catch on. So yeah, let's get right into it. So the first thing I want to talk about is hygiene. And to my skater friends, it doesn't really matter that much, at least when they're out skateboarding, because they're just like having the time of their lives and they're just outlanding those tricks and not really caring about how much they're sweating. Um, they could slip and fall, eat shit, and they're like bleeding all over the place and they won't care. When they come home, all they want to do is like lay down and like relax and they really don't care how they smell or how they look. But we do. I do. I always do. So it's like, go shower, please. Or your feet kind of smell, please don't take off your shoes. Don't, don't do that if you're near me, please. Or like, if they come like with like scars and they're like bleeding all over the place and then they like lay down on your couch and like there's blood on your couch now or there's blood on your pillow and it's like, it's kind of gross. I don't want your blood everywhere. Just not a blood person. And you know guys, I don't know about other girls, but personally, I don't like battle scars. But that's just me. So go shower, please. Hold on. One more thing with the whole like your scars and the bleeding and the scabs. I Skaters, they're falling all the time. If you have a scab, like a big old scab on your arm, even just the tiniest one, don't pick at it, please. Like that's so gross. Like you're just like picking at your scab and it starts bleeding and you're just like, oh, that's gross. <laughs> or like if it's on your knee and it's like there, it's been there chilling for like a good fucking week and you're just like itching to fucking pick at it. Don't do that, please. Ugh. Don't pick at your scab. Second annoying thing is when you guys let your white lies spread. Don't fucking let your white lies spread. If you tell me that you are gonna go to the skate park, I'm gonna believe you because that is your life. I'm gonna believe you. I promise you I will. Just tell me. If you tell me that you are gonna go to the store and you come back like fucking three hours, four hours, five hours, the whole day, you come back late at night because you fucking skaters be doing that. You guys, you guys ain't slick. You guys come back hours later with nothing in your hands, supposedly saying that you went to the store. I expect you to come back with like groceries, something for me, maybe. Just kidding. No, but don't lie. White lies. Like, just don't do it. If you say that you're gonna go somewhere that's not the skate park, I'm gonna believe you because I'm a good person and I'm gonna trust you. But then I call you and you tell me you're at the skate park and you're trying to learn one more trick! Then I'm gonna be mad because you didn't tell me that. And now I have to wait until you land that fucking trick for you to come home. And who knows how many fucking tries that might take you. Like, I don't even want to like say a number because I know it would just take you all night if you have to. If that's what it takes, you're gonna be there all night and I'm gonna be up waiting for you. And you are gonna tell me another lie and that white lie is gonna extend because you're trying to land your trick. That's what it's, that's what it's gonna be. So now I'm gonna have to fight you. I knew you guys are probably watching this video and thinking like you probably like bitch you don't know anything. You don't know how us skaters do. You don't know our relationships. Well um fuck you. Yeah I do. I was in a relationship with the skateboarder and my fucking what is that called? Life. My life. I was in a relationship with the skater. I know how it is. I know it's a deal. That's why I'm here sharing my thoughts with you guys. If you guys get offended, then it's because it's true. Number three is make time. Skaters, make time for your friends. See, these guys, their time is all about skateboarding. Skateboarding all the time. So if you want to like hang out with them and it's not like about skateboarding, like you guys aren't going to go out and skate, then you need to make sure that you plan ahead and wait 
it takes about like three to five business days to like you know hang out with them because all they think about is skateboarding so you might want to plan ahead on that but if you really want to just try and have them hang out with you like the day you want to hang out I don't think it's gonna work out I'm sorry because they're just like so focused on skateboarding they don't want to fucking watch the notebook with you they don't want to go out to fucking eat at Olive Garden and maybe they do but not with you but they're skating buddies for sure <laughs> A perfect example of making time is when a good friend of mine, a good friend of mine that has a YouTube channel, you guys should go um, like and subscribe to him, told me that, hey, I'm gonna go with um, you and a friend to go get your tattoo done, and it never fucking happened, it never took me, and I was like waiting all day there, and I was like, um, I'm offended. You went to go skate. I thought you were gonna take me to like go get my tattoo done. What happened? You just left me here. It's not cool. Okay. Part of that story was that, um, you know, I asked my friend, I was like, hey, you can take me to the tattoo parlor. I'm gonna go get like my tattoo done. And he was like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna go with like um, my friend really quick. Gotta go meet him up to like talk to him about something that I'm doing. And then I'll be right back and I'll take you. You look up. I, what? Played me. Hella played me. A text. Played. Guess who's not getting a tattoo today? Me. The struggle is real with this one, you guys. Like, you really have to set up an appointment to hang out with your friend or your boyfriend if he's a skater. This next one is, let's do something today. Cool. What do you want to do? With, like I said, whether it's your friend, your boyfriend, whatever. He's a skater. What do you want to do today? Let's go, my suggestions, as a girl, as a friend. Let's go watch a movie. Let's go walk. Take a walk at the park. Sure, let's go to the skate park. And I'm doing this a lot because that's really my mood. Like, y'all really in me, but. Okay, so <laughs> I had to like let all of my frustration out on because I'm feeling some type of way. <laughs> you get me all worked up. I want to fight all of you. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, don't take us to a skate park to watch you skate. Did I say park? Or did I say park? I said park. <laughs> don't take us to a skate park to go watch you skate because you're probably not even that good. Just kidding. Don't want to kill your fucking hopes. Whatever. Just don't take us to a skate park because damn, I just fucking spit everywhere. Calm down, Gabby. Don't take us to a skate park because we don't want to watch you skate. I don't want to watch you skate. Promise you, a girl um, that is interested in you doesn't want to watch you skate. They want to get it on. They want to be in your car if you have a car. They want to be somewhere alone, parked, where you guys can fucking get it. Mac. They don't want to watch you skate. If you tell a girl. Hey, you want to go to the skate park and watch me skate? This is exactly what's going to go through their head. No. Take me home. Or if they're hoes, they're going to be like, no, I just want to make it out. Fuck. I'm just going to go watch you fucking skate. Okay, Tony Hawk. It's getting a little hot in here. If you say you want to go to the skate park and watch me skate and the girl agrees, you got to impress her. Because if not, you basically just taking her to go find another boyfriend. That's what you're doing. Because if you go and you take her to a skate park, she's gonna be looking at who's better, who's landing those tricks, who is gonna, you know, show her ass. And for my female viewers that are watching this, I'm letting my secrets out. If your boyfriend ever tries to take you to a skate park to go watch him skate, throw a fucking pebble in there and watch that. Record that. You're welcome. Okay, so last thing, you guys, fifth thing. I thought Mosley was like cheering me on going like this and I was about to like put my hands up and I was like, oh wait, he's just stretching. All right, don't hype me. Don't hype me. I don't need the hype. I'm already too hype. Um, last thing you guys is just don't bitch at us. Don't bitch at us. You guys always complain about how you didn't learn a trick, about how you're not getting this right, about how you're never going to get it right. Hey, you think you're going to get it done first try? No, you're not. Go back there and try that shit again. Don't complain to me. Don't cry. Just go try it again. 
oh, but then I complain about how you take forever and how you're out there doing that all day. So now it's my fault. And now it's annoying how you're blaming it on me. It's not me, it's you. Don't blame it on me. That's the fifth thing, you guys. Um, don't take all these things I say to heart. Don't take it so seriously. I'm just saying it because they are my thoughts of what goes on in my head and what I'm thinking about whenever I'm dealing with my skater friends or like, um, skater boyfriend if I ever had one, had one, you know. Those are just my thoughts, so don't get hurt about it. It's not that easy. But yeah, that is it. Um, you'll be seeing me a lot more often. I'm going to try to be on Mowgli's channel um, a lot more now. I'm trying to get I'm trying to get some videos done um, for like my personal channel if I ever make one and if you guys will ever watch. But let me know in the com comments. Comments. Gals, get used to this. I promise I'm gonna get used to this, you guys. I'm a little awkward in front of the camera still, but I promise you guys I'm gonna get it and there is gonna be YouTube videos from me that are gonna be coming out. But for now, I'm here on Mowgli's YouTube channel because Mowgli's a little hurt right now and he can't really make a lot of skateboarding videos. So he has me here ranting about things that people can relate to, skaters can relate to, skaters can relate to. Yeah, thanks guys, thanks for watching. I love you so much. I'm still coming to get you, Seth. I'm the new face. <laughs>